In the five counties which our school attempts to help, we have 23,000 colored people and over 11,000 are of a school age. Last summer, after looking over the field, I determined we will work harder. In our county, the white folk cannot aid us because they have all they can do to help their own and thus we had to decide to take our own bucket and go to the spring for water ourselves. In the beginning, we knew that the good Lord would help us in the work and I knew if I struck out for the money that someone would come forward to help. When I arrived in Boston, many of the banks were closed down, but the needed help came just the same because the people felt that we needed the aid. Thus the help of those folks gave us before long our fine farm. To raise funds, we gave what you call a five cent reception and dinner, and folks came from 20 miles away to attend them. We teachers agreed to wear 10 cent hats and to buy five cent a yard goods for our dresses. We had teachers who agreed to work the first year for nothing. One day when we had secured some good buildings, we looked out and saw one of the largest in flames. Soon we had nothing but ashes and this looked as though I should stop. But a second thought came and I went to work again and rebuilt. My father used to tell me that if you had good sense, you could learn more than one thing. If the good Lord had intended us to do only one thing, I believe he would have given us only one eye and one ear. One of the big tenets about this piece was uh, she's reaching down, reaching down and, and offering a helping hand. Um, when she is six feet tall, she'll be on a three foot pedestal. Uh, so her hand will be eye level uh, with the viewer. And I really want people to reach out and take her hand, um, sim symbolizing the, you know, the helping hand that she lent to, um, you know, her community. This is something that she's remembered for. I mean, she, she started out with absolutely nothing and, and she's accomplished and celebrated uh, over a hundred years later. And um, over time, as, as people take her hand, uh, the patina, the stain on the, on the bronze will start to wear and polish and her hand will start to glow a little bit and get smoother and golden. And uh, that's an interactivity with the community, uh, her community that I think is really important and, and also a reflection of the engagement that uh, people have with her. Um, not only just, you know, what she gave to the community, but also, you know, mimicking and, and in parallel uh, having those, those people reach out and take her hand again.